Hi guys and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to review a new collection, collab lo between L'Oreal and Isabel Marant. Marant or Marant, I'm sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. But this just arrived yesterday and I did pre-order it when it uh, came out on uh, Feel Unique. So on Feel Unique's website, they had a tease and it, of this collection and also you could pre-order it so I did that. and everything got set the day it launched so I'm very excited to re review this on my channel and if you want to see how these products are working then please keep on watching so I already have my base on I have my fond primer foundation uh, concealer I did set a little bit uh, my concealer under my eyes with the powder, hope this is looking good. I tried not to come on this cheek area because of the I want to try the blush and the highlighter, but I didn't set. I did have. I do have a little bit of uh, cream contour just to create a depth on my face, so I don't look that flat. And I did uh, prep my eyes. I know I look crazy. I have a tan on, so my eyelids are right, but. This is a palette and it comes with two shades, Scarbird Storm and Cold Wind. And it's the cutest packaging ever. It said smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And it's magnetic. I love this packaging. And this is the palette. It's so cute. I love this green. I haven't swatched this, so I'm going to do that now. Oh, they feel so creamy. Oh, okay. Hmm, not that green. Let's see, one more coat. It's like a duochrome, black with some green and blue and purple shades. They look very nice. So I'm going to create a look with these, just two of these shades. So I'm going to take a dense brush. I'm going to take my brush from Zoeva 232. And I'm going to dip in this green shade and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid but I'm going to make it intense right here on the uh, on my eyelid and I'm going to try to fade it when I go more and more into my crease so let's see it's very packed I'm packing this green all over my eyelid creating like a base and then I'm going to go with that green on the brush again and try to blend it in the crease. I'm going to actually go to, into a crease brush. I think that will work much better. Need that green shade. I do have the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer on and I did set it with powder. I really want to make this green pop, so I'm going to take a flat brush and uh, put some shade on and I'm going to wet it. You can use Fix Plus, I'm going to use this Boost Fix from Obsession and I'm going to try to place it all over the eyelid. Yeah, this, oh my god, yes, this is so this is how you're supposed to do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, so beautiful this green looks right now. Taking more of that green on a blending brush and try to blend the edges a little bit more. There is a little bit of the fallout. So I'm going to go in with my concealer and place it here where I have very light spots to make it. So I'm going back with Zoeva and that green shade and place it right in my crease. I do have some dry patch here, but it's not because of the shade, it's because I'm trying out a new eye cream and it's really drying out my 
eye area so now we are going in with that black shade on this brush Ofra 11 and I want to This the corner a little bit dark. I feel like I look very yellow today. I know what's wrong with my lights. Okay, that looks good. So I want to take an eyeliner brush. I'm going to take this eyeliner brush from uh, 300 from Linda Halberg. And I'm going to take that black on this brush. And actually I'm going to wet that too because I want to create that eyeliner. So I'm taking it and wetting it with the same powder. Powder. That powder, same boost fix. Oh, it's working. I can't really see it because the eyeshadow is dark, but I'm going to create like a wing. Yeah, this is working. I'm going to clean this brush that we had flat brush that we applied the green all over the eyelid and I'm going to just clean it a little bit because I'm going to take the dark black one and I want to smudge this eyeliner that I created with this black and blend everything with a blending brush I'm going to take this brush 11 from Ofra and I'm going to take that black and smudge it under my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this kind of fluffier brush and blend everything down here without any eyeshadow, so of course. So what I am going to do right now is that I'm, I feel happy with how the makeup look turned out. It's so smoky and beautiful, but I want to clean the edges a little bit. So I'm going to take a powder and I think I'm going to use my Huda Beauty powder very to clean the eyeshadow. Okay, so we are going to let this sit for a couple of minutes. But we're going to back to the collection. So guys, right now it's time for the cheeks. And this is Cheek, they are all the craze. Amaze. And it's in shade Canyon Ave Avenue. Canyon Avenue. And it's it looks amazing. And it looks neon. Neon. Let's Look how neon this looks. Ooh. Let me swatch it on the hand. So I'm curious to see how this is going to come on my uh, on my cheeks. So what I'm going to do, you can put this on lips too if you want to, but I'm not going to do that. I um, actually think that I'm going to take my finger and dab it and then... I'm nervous. I don't like cream blushes. And I'm going to tap it on my cheeks. And I think I want to go in my with my depth sponge. Oh, this is blending so nice. This is blending like a dream over my foundation. And the shade is perfect. This is blending very nice and it makes me smell so good. Oh, I forgot to take some fallout. There is some fallout from uh, the eyeshadows, so maybe it's better to do this up before foundation. Dark shades are harder to remove, so let's go back. I am loving this blush. This is so cool. I think I'm going to use this more. I have a couple of um, creamy, uh, creamy blushes that I'm not really using because they are hard to blend. And they make me scared, but this looks this looks good. And it smells like candy. Oh my god. 
Okay, so it's time for mas no, not mascara. We're going to do that last. It's time for highlighter. Yes, it is. So they come. They came out with a highlighter. This is Fair, uh, Forest Vibe, and it looks like pink. And I think it's creamy too. So no, I think it is creamy. Uh, okay. Can't see it. Is this highlighter? It feels actually like it's matte. It looks matte. No, this can't be a highlighter. Do you see? I can't see it. Okay, I need to go on the website and see what they're saying about this product. So this is a highlighter and it says that you can use it for your eyes, lips and cheeks. Okay, I don't see any highlighter here, so I'm going to use it as a highlighter. I need to wipe off this big. You see? Much better. So I'm going to use it as a highlighter. I'm going to dip my finger in. It's very creamy. I think I'm going to apply a little bit too much, but let's see what it's going to do on my cheeks. It doesn't smell like anything. Can you see it? Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm going to take my sponge and dip it in there. Let's see if we can... More, more. So there is something there. It looks more like a natural shine. It's not at all like a creamy highlighter. It's more to give you this fresh look. So, but it's giving me something uh, kind of wet glow, natural glow doesn't look like highlighter at all it looks like natural skin mm, i know if it removed my foundation on this side it looks a little bit patchy here the blush and the it kind of looks like it removed a little bit on my foundation but i don't know okay, then let's go to the lipstick i have they had a couple of different shades but this is one that really speaks spoke to me this is la Seine Sh shadow La Seine, La Seine, La Seine, I don't know. This is a beautiful. So I'm like loving this lipstick. It's creamy. This is La Seine's shadow. It really feels cream and soft on the lips. It moisturizes my lips. I love this shade. This is my new favorite shade. I don't have any lipstick like this. So we are now on to Wanted Mascara. This says... It's a hold up, stand up, hands up. Sometimes you gotta stage a hold up to get what you want. Oh, I love that text. So let's try this. Hand, hold up, stand up, and hands up mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. So let's see, let's go in. What's this? This is not mascara. What is this? This looks like a gel. What is this? Okay, now I'm shaved on myself. I need to go in and see what this is. <laughs> Guys, this is not a mascara. This is a brow gel. Brow gel. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> mm. Yep, I'm stupid. Yeah, this is a brow gel, so it's not mascara. So let's go in with uh, on my brows with this one. <laughs> oh, this is me stupid. I really thought this was a mascara. Why didn't I read what this was? 
I even seen commercial. But this. Okay, this is something wrong. It's doing something on my eyebrows. It's kind of lifting the foundation or something. And it's making my eyebrows. Oh my god, I don't like that. It's making them look strange. You know, like it has some powder on it. Oh, let's clean. Yep, that looks much better. So I had to clean it a little bit. Maybe this will work before I apply my foundation and anything else. But I don't know if it's doing the same thing. I kind of get the effect of that from when this clear water, the brow gel from Tonya Crooks. It also makes my eyelashes look powdery. The best eyebrow gel that I really, really like is this by Pixie by Petra. I love that one. So this holds up my eyebrows good. And after combing it through, it looks beautiful and natural right now. So it did remove the powder. So I don't know if it's because I had some powder on my eyelashes that it lifted up. But I'm going to go in mascara and I'll be right back. So guys, this is the final look. I love the eyeshadows. They look beautiful. I love the cheek color, the bl creamy blush thing. I love it. I also like the brow gel. It kind of looked weird. It lifted my powder up that I had. But after combing through, it looks beautiful and it, st it stays on. Love how it kind of makes my eye eyebrows look more... 3D, I don't know, natural. I love the blush. I do not, the only thing I do not like is the this highlighter, this uh, Anytime Glow. I don't think it's good like a highlighter, so I won't use it like for that. But otherwise, everything else looks, looks good, and I want to try this on top of my cheek, lips. Yeah, this is pretty over top, on top of the lipstick, so. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.